In today's video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the Nilfisk P180 pressure washer. Now, if you're thinking about getting one of these machines, I wanna give you a rough idea of the sort of thing you're gonna compare it with. Now, think about a Karcher K7. It's gonna have similar spec and similar pricing. So we're gonna be talking around 400 to 500 pounds. So I've had this machine for about three months now, and believe it or not, it has had an absolute hammering day in, day out. So I can honestly share my own personal feedback about what I liked and what I disliked about this machine. So let's talk about all the spec and go through everything that comes with this machine. It's got a start stop motor and it has a metal pump. It also comes with a 10 meter anti-kink hose and it's on a reel as well and that's one of the best features about this and I'll get to a little more about that later on as we go through the video. It's also got dedicated storage for the cables and the nozzles which means you can move the entire unit without having to worry about bits falling off it. And it has got an extremely long lance as well. Now before you disregard it thinking that sounds like a crazy idea, I want to jump on the stubby gun bandwagon, I want to share a couple of positive things about this long lance that comes with it and it might even change your mind about it. So the biggest thing I found about having the longer lance on it was the lack of splashback. Now when you have got a stubby gun, don't get me wrong, I do love the stubby guns, but what I noticed was, especially in the winter months, I wasn't getting any of that splashback because when you have got a stubby gun, you're getting sort of less pressure, less power coming out of it because you've got a wider fan on most cases. So when you're standing that close with the fan, you are getting covered in it and in the winter it's not a nice thing. So at least with this particular model and this particular lance, I can stand right back and I've still got all the power at my fingertips. Another amazing feature is the 360 swivel function. Now when you're trying to navigate around the car, you've got tight areas, you've got no space around you, this is gonna be the sort of thing you need because it isn't easy doing this business. Not everybody has loads of space around the vehicle. So at least you can sort of twist your body around, you can actually navigate yourself around this car a lot easier and it does make a massive difference. And not only that, it reduces the risk of getting any kinks in the hose as well. And that is one of the biggest features as well. And the hose is quite anti-kink friendly anyway. So the odds of you getting a kinked up hose, unlike the Karcher K7, are very slim. Another amazing feature about this machine was the complete intelligence that has gone into making it. When you think about where everything has to have its own place, you had a place for your lance, you had a place for the nozzles, the electrical cable had its own bit where you could wind it up, you could then even reel up the hose. Everything had its own place and it had an adjustable handle and wheels which meant that if you're gonna be moving it in and out of your van or even your car, you could adjust it to make it fit. And I've had countless times where I've been using things like the K7 in the past because I've tested it endless times. I've chucked it in the van and I'm just thinking, well, the hose is all kinked up. Everything's just been chucked in there. Even the electrical cables, they've only got this little netting, this little pocket, and it just doesn't stay in. It doesn't work for me. But when I've got this, everything's just wound up and at least I'm a tidy worker. And believe me, if you're trying to get from job to job, just chucking your stuff in the van, by the time it comes to pulling it back out again, you've got a mess, you're having a right flap on, and it does take up a couple of extra minutes. So it's just another neat little feature for the Nilfisk. So I can confirm this will run off a water tank, just like pretty much any other Nilfisk out there. And also there are some other things you want to be wary of. Also the snow foam cannons, they're not the easiest things to put on because you have got a long lance. Unless you're going to go for a stubby gun, and I will put links to all the stubby guns that I use in the description below. Unless you've got that, it can be a bit of a faff because it is quite a reach to put the gun on. And you've got to make sure that when you get it on that you fit it on properly because if you shoot it, the cannon will fly off. And because it is a swivel function, it's not that easy. So you need to hold the swivel bit still, put the cannon in, twist it, then release. It can be a little bit of a faff, but that's only a little minor thing. And if we're gonna talk about negatives, the only other negative thing you could argue is it is flipping heavy. And trust me, it doesn't feel heavy, but as soon as you drop it on your toe when you've got trainers on, oh my God, it bloody hurts. So that's the only other negative thing I will say about it. But there again, it's a powerful machine. You can't get something with that much power that it's gonna be light and easy and portable. But other than that, you have a perfectly brilliant all-round machine. So let's talk about pricing. Now, this will set you back around 400 pounds. It may just come in a little bit under 400 pounds, depending on where you go. Best place I'm gonna recommend is cleanstore.co.uk because they're the ones who sent me this machine. 
And also, if you are going to go for a Karcher K7, please do bear in mind that they are going to set you back around £80 extra, depending on what type of model you go for. So there is a big difference. If you're trying to save money and you want to get some more pressure washer upgrades, like a new snow foam cannon or a stubby gun, then ideally you probably do want to be going for the Nilfis. So I have got one more machine that I am going to be featuring very soon, which is pretty much identically matched on power, performance, flow rate, everything. And that is the Arva P80. So I can't wait to get that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be sticking with this Neil Fisk because honestly, it's my favorite. And it actually blows the 613 out of the water in terms of your price of value for money. You get so much more. And bearing in mind, this is a domestic pressure washer. It's unbelievable. It's more like a commercial one in my opinion. This is going to be good enough for anybody getting off the ground. You don't need to be spending thousands and thousands of pounds on a Kranzel unless you really do have that wild budget that we all dream of. So I understand that not everybody's made of money. This is going to be the best all-rounder for you, hands down. Um, personally, I wouldn't go for a Karcher K7. As you've seen in my other videos, there's way too many flaws with those machines. They are good, don't get me wrong but you just cannot compete with Nilfisk in terms of how they have built that machine, how everything's been designed, and they've actually thought about the end user experience. And I think for me, that is the most important feature. And if you're watching this video thinking this model is a little bit too much, then I do have a glimmer of hope for you because I have the entire core range from Nilfisk right here. So we've got the 125, we've got the 130, and we have the 140 as well. So all three of those models are gonna get a feature on the channel next week as I'm gonna be doing a review on every single one and we're gonna be comparing some of the stats and some of the prices. But if you want something that's a little more budget, then they could be the ones for you. As for me, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.